Hello, friends. Happy Tuesday. It's time for another episode of Tuesday Live at Five. This is Lena Gursa. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Cambridge, Ontario, Canada. And you may be wondering why I'm calling my, my episode Tuesday Live at Five when here we are. It's Thursday. Well, this is a special episode. This week I am featuring three lives at five. I did my Tuesday at my usual time slot. And then I have a special one today and another one tomorrow because I'm going zany for zinnias. I absolutely love the new flowering zinnia suite that has just launched on Tuesday as a new online exclusive in my online store. So I have been playing with this suite and couldn't stop. So I just decided I had to do three different live videos because I couldn't choose uh, which of the cards that I've made that I like the best. So I'm going to show you a whole bunch. Is that okay with you? <laughs> Many of you are back for after after being with me on Tuesday, so it must be okay. So if you are joining me, whether live or on replay, give me a shout out. Let me know that you are here and uh, that I'm not talking to myself. It's always nice to know that people are actually out there um, responding or watching what I'm doing uh, and let me know that you are here I see Mia from Cincinnati and Sonia thank you for sharing Sonia um, and Julie and Gail from Halton Hills it is a beautiful day today I was I wasn't expecting it to be this nice today actually we were really spoiled on Monday with a balmy day on Monday. So I was expecting it to be cooler today, but it was really quite lovely. Uh, we've got Felicia and Mary and Louise. Hello. Um, we've got Crystal and Terry, Nancy, Cin uh, Cindy from North Dakota. Thanks for joining me live today, Cindy. It's lovely to see your name there. And we've got Lorraine from Gatineau. All right. Well, thank you for joining me today. Let's get right to it. Today's going to be a quick one because I'm showing you some quick and easy ideas with the featuring the Flowering Zinnia DSP specifically. I'm going to use some sentiments from the stamp set, but I'm really all about the DSP today. Okay. And these are really quick and easy layouts that you can throw together in we're really just a matter of minutes. So let me switch to my desk view here. There we go. And we're going to get right to some stamping. All right, we still got people coming in. So welcome if you are join just joining us. Thanks for joining me today. Um, so we are all about quick and easy cards featuring the Flowering Zinnias DSP. So this is the first card we're going to make. This card actually kind of came about by accident because I had these little scraps sitting on my desk. And then I had a larger piece of the, the pink DSP in behind it. And I was like, huh. Let's do something with that. So I just quickly threw together um, this card. So let me show you how easy it is to make this one. So to start, I have a four by five and a quarter inch piece of this. Uh, it's sort of a tone on tone melon mambo. And then it's, it's actually got red on melon mambo. It's a beautiful um, combination. And I've embossed it using one of the basics embossing folders. So that's another online exclusive that's been around for a while. Uh, it's a set of three 3D embossing folders. And this crosshatch pattern is one that's included in that three pack. And I love this. This is the one I use by far the most from that pack. So I've just run it through and embossed using that um, folder. And I love the texture. It kind of makes it almost look like it's like a textile or a, a linen look so that's my backdrop and then I just have like I said these were just little scraps of DSP I had kicking around on my desk so um, I was talking on Tuesday as well about using up our scraps and so these little bits we often might be tempted to just throw away right this is three by three quarters of an inch these two and then this is <laughs> This is how, this is legit a scrap, okay? This is a weird measurement, one and three eighths by three. Okay, so this were just little scrappy bits that I had sitting on my desk. And I'm like, okay, well, let's stick them on the, the middle of this panel here. And we're gonna make a really simple card just from scraps. All right, so I'm gonna start by gluing this middle one down because I find it's easiest to get the one in the center and then kind of work out with the other two. So I am going to use, I'm going to slide up my grid paper here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to slide this over and center my, what am I doing here? Center my panel so that I kind of sort of maybe get this in the middle-ish. I'm not being super precise, but I want it to be fairly centered. Okay. And then I'm just going to take my other two little strips and stick them on down. So as I mentioned, these are three quarters by three little scrappy strips all of these are from the flowering zinnias dsp pack so don't throw out your little bits when i really love a dsp i don't throw out anything because i want to use all those pretty pretty patterns i'm having a hard time getting this straight today come on there we go 
Okay, then we're gonna stamp a sentiment from the stamp set. So this is, again, a scrap strip. This is three quarters of an inch by, what is this? Five and a quarter. Uh, we're not gonna use the full length, but it's, again, just a scrap I had kicking around. So I'm going to stamp in memento black. This words fail to express my gratitude sentiment. I love that sentiment because there have been many times where I feel like I don't have the words to express how thankful I am for various people and actions. So there we go, we've stamped. And then I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna use my tailored tag punch. This again adds to the speed of this card. Um, so I'm just gonna slide it in. Now I should mention this punch is retired. Okay, I very rarely use retired products. In fact, I will do the other end by hand so I can show you. Um, but I typically use that particular punch to punch my banner ends because it's super quick. But I'm gonna show you how to do it if you don't have a punch. So I'm trimming it to the length that I want. I'm taking my snip, so I'm gonna cut in as far as I want my notch to go. And then I go from one corner into the end of that little slit and then to the from the other corner. Okay, and that gives you a nice even banner end. So that is going to get stuck onto the front of our card. But first, we're going to add a fussy cut flower. So you're gonna see lots of fussy cut, fussy cut flowers today. I love fussy cutting. And uh, this DSP, all of these floral images in this paper were just begging to be fussy cut. So uh, as I said, you're gonna see lots of fussy cut flowers. So we're gonna pop this guy up. This is from the larger zinnia pattern. So there's two patterns that have um, printed zinnias in the DSP. So this is the one that's kind of larger and bolder. Um, the other pattern you're gonna see, well, you'll see one of them on the inside of this card in a minute. So I'm just going to add a couple of dimensionals to pop these guys up. And we're going to kind of tuck that. This one, the leaves are going a little bit different. So you can see I've got leaves kind of opposite each other as opposed to this one where the leaves were side by side. So I'm going to orient my flower just a little bit differently than I did on my sample. And then our um, sentiment banner is going to run right across. And I'm gonna need some more dimensionals. Look at that, hard to believe I've run out of dimensionals. <laughs> Actually, it's really not. Anyone who knows me knows that I go through dimensionals like I breathe. Um, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and adhere this. I'm gonna, I don't wanna cover this, completely cover the center of the flower, so I'm gonna put this up a little bit higher. So I see a little bit of that um, beautiful color. Now this is not straight, so we're gonna adjust and get that on straight. There we go, that's better. And then that is going to get stuck onto a, a Granny Apple Green card base. Now this actually, this color is not listed on the DSP pack as being a coordinating green, but it absolutely works, okay? Um, it's super, this this DSP pack, like you can see, it's not quite the exact green that's in here. This is um, Mossy Meadow and Parakeet Party, but it totally works. So if you don't have the exact greens to coordinate with this pack, don't worry, there's lots that work. So this is just a standard card base, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So we're just gonna fold that in half along our score line. I am gonna use a little liquid glue to adhere my DSP because it is embossed. And sometimes our seal can tear our DSP when it's embossed like that. Well, even cardstock. So we're gonna play it safe and just use some liquid glue. Get that centered on our card. Okay, and then I'm going to add wherever I put them, uh, yep, there they are. Some of these shiny sequins. Now these are the one, the item from the suite that are back ordered, okay? So if you go onto my online store and try to order the entire Zinnia suite, it'll show as not available. All that's not available are these sequins right now, okay? So if you are wanting to, um, to add bling, there are lots of other embellishments that you can get uh, or that we carry that are in the, even in the annual catalog that will coordinate. So don't let the fact that these embellishments are not available at the moment deter you from ordering this suite because it is a fantastic one and you don't want it to sell out while you're waiting for the embellishments to come in, right? Right, trust me, you don't, it's great. So there we go, let's put this one up here where it's gonna be a little bit more visible. Okay, that's all there is to it. I said it was quick and easy. Now, I'm, we're gonna do the insides of our cards today because I wanna show you how to use those straight edge bits that you get from the edge of your DSP. So I've heard from people before that they don't like to fussy cut images out of the DSP because they feel like they're wasting a big chunk of the paper because when they're, they're, they're fussy cutting, um, they feel like they're only cutting part of the paper and they lose all of those edge images. But 
that's not really the case because we can use those edge pieces. So this is from a corner, you can see, I'm gonna cut this little flower off, but we're gonna use this straight leaf edge here on the edge of the inside of our card. Before we glue that on, we're going to stamp our thank you so much sentiment. Again, in Memento Black. So we'll just stamp that. My white panel is four by five and a quarter. Um, that's a perfect size to layer inside your card bases that are colored so that it is easy to write inside your cards. So I'm just going to stick this on here and then flip this over and trim off the excess. And so now I'm not wasting that partial image. I'm using it on the inside of my card. Okay. And even this little guy, if I wanted to, I could tuck it in behind here. I'm not going to, but I could. Okay. All right. Let's glue that inside our card and call this one done. So we'll pop that on. And um, Terry, yes, all the scraps are from the Zinnia DSP. Yes. So everything I'm using today is from that Flowering Zinnias pack. Okay, um, there are so many great patterns in this pack, both the like the, the floral side and the, the back sides, um, that they're super versatile, lots of things you can do with them. Okay, so that is card one. Done, let's set that aside. Number two is this one. I got lots of feedback on this one today. Lots of people like this one. It's such a happy card. These images are so bright and sunny. They totally work with the weather here today. Um, it certainly feels like spring. I actually got home and my uh, little mini daffodils have popped up and are actually budding. They're ready to bloom, which is a little alarming because we're supposed to get snow on the weekend. But um, they are they didn't get the memo that it's not really spring yet. So I'm going to have some very short daffodils. All right, so this next one, um, we are going to start with another piece of that DSP. So this is the back side of that tone on tone pattern that we used on the last card. It has this sort of cross pattern. And this is sized to three and a quarter by four and a half inches. And then I've got a pumpkin pie mat that I'm going to adhere behind it that is three and three eighths by four and five eighths. Okay, all of the measurements for all of the cards today are in the video description. So if you are wanting to try and recreate any of these, you can just scroll down and you will find all of the measurements there. Whoop, Ooh, good. we're gonna have a sticky mess there. That's okay, we'll clean that up in a sec. Let's stick this down while the glue is still wet. Oop, don't move. There we go. All right, I'm just gonna clean this up. We're gonna have a little bit of a sticky mess there, but that's okay, we'll work around it. So that is our backdrop for our beautiful zinnias now this piece is actually sized to fit my entire card front can you see there's no border around that one so this is four and a quarter by five and a half inches i'm going to go ahead and glue my um, focal point there onto my background so I'll add a little bit of glue once again And pop this on. I'm all thumbs today because my hands are freezing. It's cold in my studio. I didn't get home in time to turn on my space heater. So <laughs> it hasn't warmed up in here. Even though it's beautiful outside, my studio is in the basement of our house and my husband turns the heat down during the day. So <laughs> it gets really chilly. All right. So now we have three more fussy cut zinnias. So this is from um, the other sheet. So the first card was from the, the sheet that has the larger zinnias. Can you see the difference in scale there? Okay, much larger. We're going to use the smaller ones on this one. And again, I've just fussy cut these out. We're going to arrange our zinnias. Now I am going to hide. What do I want to do here? I think I'm going to do it this way. Nope. You kind of have to work with these leaves a little bit and think about how you want your to orient your flowers so that your leaves work with what you're doing here. There we go. And then we're going to hide that one there. Yeah, that works. All right, these are all going to get popped up. Okay, so we're going to do this center one first. And I need to grab some more dimensionals. There we go. So we'll go ahead and add couple dimensionals to this sort of pinky orange one. 
And I'm going to angle that this way just a little. And then this guy is going to come over top. You know what? I might do it. I'm going to trim this extra leaf off. I feel like there's one too many leaves on these flowers, so we're just going to get rid of this guy. That's the beauty of fussy cutting. You don't want something there, you just get rid of it. He's a paisy. All right, that's going to work way better. Okay, let's add a couple more dimensionals. Now, this one, I'm actually going to add my dimensionals right onto my um, card front so that I don't accidentally put a dimensional where it's going to bump over this already pot bloom. So we're going to pop that one on there, just like that. And then this little guy is going to come down here. And I may, I think I'm going to cut this little guy's leaf off. No, I like the lighter color. I think we're going to cut this one off, actually. We're pruning our zinnias because we can. There we go. Much better. Yeah, that's going to work better. All right, so let's add a couple more dimensionals. So there are, on each sheet of these um, printed zinnias, there are so many different um, sort of leaf and, and blossom combinations. So you can kind of play around with, you know, what you've got and what you're going to use. But there you go. Okay, so obviously I use different um, blossoms than I did on this one, but it still works. Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and glue that onto a card base. So this is four and a quarter by 11 inches, scored at five and a half. This is thick basic white. Um, if I want a white card base, I do like to use the thick. It's just a little bit sturdier than our regular basic white. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue. And again, when I am gluing, covering an entire card base or card front, I like to use liquid glue so that I can have that wiggle time to get it just where I want it. So I'm going to open this up. And it's always a little bit of a challenge to get it lined up when it's white on white. So I'm going to just take my time here and get that lined up just so. There we go. Now we're gonna work on our sentiment. So again, we're using scraps. So this is a half by five and a quarter inch little scrap of white uh, that was actually probably left over from cutting the inside layer on my last card. And we are going to stamp this sending flowers and thinking of you sentiment, which I think is one of my very favorite um, sentiments that we've had in a while. I really like that sentiment. So again, inking up in memento black and attempting to get this straight without looking straight down on it. Yeah, that's okay. I can live with that. And then this one, this is another way to finish your ends on a banner. So instead of cutting the actual little pennant or banner end, uh, we can just cut at, a, at an angle. So I'm going to cut one end. And these look best. So I'll look, show you on my sample here. When the ends are cut in the same direction, they angle in the same direction at the same um, acuteness, I guess. So I'm going to take that end that I just cut off, and I'm going to line it up on the other end of my little banner here and use that as a guide to cut the other end so that they're both the same angle, okay? All right, so that is going to go on right across um, the lower third of our card. This part's gonna get glued flat. We're gonna pop this up and we're actually gonna add this little bow. So this is, I, this was again, just kicking around on my desk. Um, this is Parakeet Party ribbon. It's the one eighth pack that is in the annual catalog. It comes in a pack with um, petal pink. So that pack actually coordinates perfectly with this DSP pack because both of those colors are in the DSP. Petal pink is right there. So I'm gonna stick this little bow on just with a glue dot. So we'll just press that into a glue dot. Oh, we got Sharon here and Peggy. All right, the gang's all here. I welcome everybody. Thanks for coming back for another day. Glad you're not sick of me yet. All right, so we're now going to go ahead and stick that down. So I'm going to add a couple of dimensionals to the end that's going to extend over the card. And then I'm going to put some seal on the end that's going to overlap my flowers. Oops. And then once again, we're going to pop this on. Hopefully fairly straight. It's always a bit of a gamble with me. There we go.
All right. And then again, last touch is some more of these shiny sequins. I seem to be really gravitating towards the green ones. They're the ones by far I've used the most of here. I don't know what it is about them, but I'm liking the green. Maybe it's because St. Patrick's Day is coming. <laughs> All right, now on the inside of this one, I again added some more of those partial blooms from the edge of the DSP just to decorate the inside. All right. Okay, told you these were quick and easy today. Look at it, it's only 520 and we're already on card three. Speeding along. All right, um, the last one is this one. Now, I actually found this particular pattern, as cute as it is, this little bitty dahlia pattern, I found it hard to work with because it's really quite, it's very busy. Like there's a lot going on. Um, I love the color palette and I love that they're little bitty dahlias, but the, it is, it's a lot. So anytime you have DSP that you find is kind of busy and it's hard to layer and work with, use some vellum to tone it down. Okay, so let me show you the difference. So if I take my flowers here and I just layer them without using the vellum, can you see how much busier that looks than with the vellum? The vellum just kind of tones it down enough to let the flowers pop a little bit more. So that's just a little tip. The vellum just kind of softens everything down and allows whatever you layer on top of it to kind of stand out. All right, so my vellum is die cut uh, with the deckled rectangles dies. Uh, this one measures, I don't know, four and a half ish by three. Now, the trick when you're gluing vellum onto a, a layer is to make sure that you're putting your glue where it's going to be covered up by something else, right? So we're going to put a little bit of, of seal in this top left, or sorry, top right corner, and then the bottom left. And then I'm also going to put a little bit kind of across the middle because it's going to get covered with my sentiment. Because, as you're going to see when I stick this on, we're going to see that vellum a little bit. Or sorry, see that um, adhesive through the vellum. Can you see that? You can see it there. And it's, it's just not super pretty. So we want to make sure we put our adhesive strategically where it's going to be hidden. Okay. All right. So now, again, here is another flower that has that straight edge. It's from an, at the edge of the DSP. But it doesn't matter. We're going to stick that up there. But we're also going to sort of supplement our greenery here a little bit with some die cut leaves. So this little leaf die is part of the die set. And I just like having that different sort of texture and color to layer behind it. So I'm going to go ahead and add, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is cutting out here. There we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add a bit of seal to the back of my fussy cut flower. And we're going to add one of these little die cut leaves. Okay, so that is going to get glued in that top right corner. So we'll just add a little bit more seal here. Now, just a word to the wise, when you are gluing these leaves, these are actually cut through the texture. Okay, can you see that that is like it's an actual little slit. So if you put liquid glue on there, it's going to ooze through those little cuts. Okay, so use <laughs> something that's not liquid. Um, again, I kind of found that out the hard way. There we go. All right. Then we're going to do the same thing with a second flower. It's going to go down in this corner. And once again, we've got some more die cut leaves. So I'm going to add a little bit of seal to the back of this. We're going to kind of go one here. And I think I'm just going to add the other one kind of tucked in beside it, just like that. So we've got lots of greenery on this one. And once again, a little bit of glue. And we'll pop that down in the corner. And we've covered up a whole bunch of that ugly adhesive, so we're not going to see it. Okay. All right. So now we have <clears throat> another little half inch strip. Again, more scrap from um, cutting layers. It's got a little bit of adhesive on there. Get rid of it. And once again, we're going to stamp that same sentiment that we did on the last card. So using the black again, so really limited supplies needed for these cards. Just a pack of the DSP, a good pair of paper snips, and some black ink. And you're good to go. And you can really use any sentiment uh, that you have in your stash with these. So there we go. Now that is going to get layered again. I had this little scrap of this cross hatch or cross um, DSP pattern. And that looks really crooked. I'm just looking at that as I, did I cut that crooked? Oh no, it's okay, it's just my eyes. Um, so we're going to layer that. So this is cut to, what is this? 
three eighths, no, three quarters of an inch by four. And this one is a half inch by four. So we're gonna layer that. So we had to have an equal border top and bottom. So we'll go ahead and add a little bit of glue and pop this on. There we go. That on fairly straight. Okay, and then we're gonna add a couple dimensionals. In fact, I'm gonna use part of the edge here. I like to save these edge pieces just for things like this where I don't wanna put a long strip and it's gonna go right across sort of the middle of my card. So again, to make sure I get this straight, I'm gonna use my grid lines to line up my panel. And then I'm going to focus on lining my strip up with the grid lines on the other side. Okay, all right, now that is going to get layered on a real red mat because real red is actually in this DSP. So we're gonna go ahead and layer that. This is cut to four and one eighth by five and three eighths. So again, little bit of glue. Now, if you are not into layering, you don't like to cut layers, you can certainly skip this real red layer. I just feel like it kind of pulls everything together and it looks so good layered on the Blackberry Bliss, which I'm gonna show you in just one sec. Okay, so there's that. And then we have our Blackberry Bliss card base, uh, four and a quarter by 11. So same dimensions as the last card, scored at five and a half. And I just love, I tried all kinds of different colors for my base. I had white, I had red, I had pink, I had the green, I couldn't decide. And then I pulled out the Blackberry Bliss and I absolutely love the layering on the Blackberry. I just think it looks so good. And it really pulls it, excuse me, pulls out the Blackberry Bliss that is in the flower images. So again, a little bit of glue. And we're gonna pop this on. Just like that. And then another little bit of bling. This time I'm using these sort of pinky purpley ones because I feel like they work with the color palette of this card. So we'll go one and two. And we'll throw one up here too. There we go. And then our last touch, I'm not going to take the time to do it, but on the inside of this one, I just added another little scrap strip of that same um, Zinnia DSP on the inside panel okay so there you go three really quick and easy cards like each of those took less than 10 minutes because you know it's 527 and i've been talking a whole bunch and i just pulled off one of my little sequins on this card there we go so there we go there are your finished projects for today you like those super quick and easy all right thank you for watching sherry thank you for your kind comments i so appreciate you all um okay Thank you all for watching. I so appreciate it. Okay, let me um, switch back to, well, maybe you want to see my cards rather than me. I don't know. <laughs> I always like to say goodbye with my face on the screen. So thank you, everybody, for joining me today. I, I'm not done yet for the week. I still have one more live to share, and it's actually my favorite because it's all about fun folds. So um, I'm going to show you three fun fold cards, again, with a focus on the DSP. Um, there's very little stamping. It's all about the fun folds and the DSP and stamp sentiments. But I think you're going to like these cards. So you're going to want to join me for one more day of Zany for Zinnia's week. So I'll be live again tomorrow, Friday, March the 8th at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Same time, same place, same station. All right. I will see you tomorrow. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye for now.